Yo guys, how's it going? I'm here from Amman, Jordan. Eh? Hey, another country. It's cold, like. Really good. Well, it's not, well, it's not that cold, but it's cold enough I need two jackets, that's for sure. So, plans today, there's a Roman amphitheater nearby, and I've got this sheet with loads of stuff to go do. I'm so tired, I'm gonna find somewhere for a coffee. I'll show you what it's like, but yeah, this is the top, the top of my hostel. Walking down the street, there. Uh, pretty cool, actually. It's going to be snowing today. It's a bit, a bit of a change from Egypt there. Eh? Well, doesn't matter. I've got my airport cookie. The one I got on my plane. Gonna have that for breakfast and head down the road. Peace. Is it coffee? Coffee, I love you. Arabic coffee. Okay. How much? No of coffee. How much for one? Fifty. Fifty pence. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get one. Two pound. I'm just going to try some Jordanian coffee. Yes. It's a grand. That tastes so nice. Very light. Oh my god, yes. No bitterness to it at, at all. No bitterness to it at all. Some Jordanian coffee. Or is it Arabic coffee anyway? Same thing. Never mind. But yeah, I'm still on the way to um, the Roman. Uh, yeah, amphitheater. It feels completely different to Egypt. I guess the price is the main thing, but uh, I think it's more built up, more Western shops here, crossed with Arabic ones. So I'm just going to continue wandering down the road with my coffee. Made it to the amphitheater, it is massive. Looks huge. So I'm gonna sit down here, have a bit of a look into it, the history of it, and then decide where to go next. I've got this big boy map with loads of stuff to do. So that's the plan. Sit down, relax, and enjoy the view. Peace. So guys, I was listening, doing again some facts, you know, I love some facts, man. Getting some facts about this bad boy. Apparently built in the 2nd century AD, which is apparently 100, 200 AD, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, something like that. Anyway, apparently they, used, they still have concerts on the summer, which is pretty cool. Uh, another fact, eh, they didn't use original materials when they restored it. Never mind, eh. And, what was it? Oh, apparently the... The emperor would sit at the bottom, then the middle part would be for the military to protect them, and the top part was for the, the peasants, like you and me. And we would have to look down and squint on it. And apparently right at the top, there was um, the, there was a shrine to Athena, goddess of whatever she was. Oh, I forgot that bit. What, what? Comment below what um, Athena was god of. Love, war, and eh, that's about it. Well, she's not really a god of anything, but... Either way, um, I'm saying, I'm tired really. So what? So what happened last night? I got into bloody <coughs> shit. I got off on a tangent here, Adam. Got into a man like eleven o'clock, and then I rode, just rode some dodgy bus. I was the only traveller there. Everyone else was getting private taxis and shit. It cost three Jordanian dollars, like one to one with a pound. I was tw twenty to thirty for a taxi. I was like, oh, let's get that. So basically I saved myself 15 quid. But I got to the hostel one o'clock in the morning, thinking everyone's gonna be asleep in my room. I thought some, I thought everyone was asleep. So I was dead quiet. Then about to get into bed, and then this guy walks in and starts shouting and turns the light on. No one's even in the room. I was like, oh, fuck. just fucking tiptoe around for nothing. And then him and this other guy start talking like three in the morning. I was like, ugh. Oh. <laughs> <Die. laughs> but that's hostel life, unfortunately. I'm not too bothered. Obviously, I kind of woke them up when I got up at like half night, so <sighs> fuck them. But plan for the rest of the day is I've got a bit of a plan. There's a place here, some really nice falafel about. So I'm going to try some falafel sandwich. Then there's nice shawarma, another fast food here. Great. And then 
I'd probably go to find out how the hell I get to Petra, because that's the other option, isn't it? Jesus, I'm getting there. Anyway, uh, I'll keep you updated, keep you posted as I always do, because obviously you know, me and you are good friends, apparently. I don't know who you are, the five people that watch these videos goes down every day. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Peace. I've made it to the Hussaini Mosque, the Grand Hussaini Mosque behind me. That's probably the wrong pronunciation, but never mind. Not the Citadel, I know that's where I was planning on going, but this is on the way. Looks pretty cool, massive. As all these mosques seem to be. But yeah, um, I'm going to go get some food now, some falafel. D2 before the Citadel. Uh, I'm not too sure where I'm going to go. I'll have to see. But I'll show you what the food's like. <laughs> Yo, just stop at this place for a tea. Which is nice in a falafel sandwich. I think it's the first falafel, oh no, second falafel I've had in the Middle East. Give it a try. Mmm. Hummus. Falafel. Mmm. That's so good. Somehow this tea in that falafel sandwich only cost, it only cost a pound. One, oh, it's fair like 90 pence. Not bad, eh? Not bad. I made that falafel so nice actually. Falafel hummus. Nothing like anything you've had in the UK falafel. I think the deep frying it or something like that, but yeah. Oh no, heading up to the Citadel. It's at the top of a giant hill soon. That should be fun. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Made to the top, it was a bit of a trek, but it's not too bad. I'm gonna have a wonder about show you some of the views because there's some hell already, some amazing views about. And I'm gonna have a bit of a wonder. West Gate, Southern Gate, I think it's just one one route all the way along. But probably should have paid attention to that map. I've just recorded it, I don't even know what it looks like. Anyway, I was gonna have a wonder about not sure what it's like. It's cold. right at the top of the entire hill. It's now starting to rain which is obviously great. But to be fair it hasn't rained since I've been in Africa. Uh, so I'm gonna try and dodge this rain by going in somewhere. But it's been good so far, it's been, the man's been quite nice. Um, it's like half one, two o'clock-ish now. I need some more food, that one little falafel wrap hasn't done it. You can see it's literally hailstoning now. Perfect time to come here. Eh? <laughs> well, it's not that cold to be honest, but yeah, hailstone. I'm just going to go try and find some water falafel, head back to the hospital. Yo, just sat down for some food. 
Uh, I'm ashamed of myself. This lamb brain is on the menu, but my stomach is so many pieces. It's gonna be shredded. <laughs> I can't bear myself to eat anything that's not like simple. So I want chicken and rice. Half a chicken and vegetables for three fifty. A good price. Uh, the food's arrived and it looks amazing. Half grilled chicken, like I said, with vegetables, three fifty. So about three pound fifty. It's all about one to one. Yeah, wow. Steaming. Mm, wow. That is amazing. Grilled chicken. Man. Big boy bite. Got to feel okay. Street chili, chicken, tomato. So good. Chicken's cooked amazingly. Everything's all grilled. So the restaurant called Al Kuds. Kuds restaurant. But yeah, five, six quid. I think it was six quid with the tip, which isn't too bad for the food. Uh, I'm just going to head up to my hot hostel, chill out for a little bit because it's fucking getting cold. It's raining. So. Uh, the food is very good though. Chicken, yes, please, thank you. See, so, you know, I can't resist a snack. I'm not too sure what it is. It looks like a pancake with pistachio in it. It's got walnut in as well. So, I'm going to find somewhere to sit down. It's all raining. I'll find somewhere dry and give it a, give it a try. A bit like apple pie in time. Like the mix, cinnamon. Mm. Yo, yo, yo. It, oh, it's just. Let me walk outside and it just starts snowing. I'm in bloody in the Middle East, I'm in Africa and it's snowing. <laughs> anyway, I'm off to this place called Rainbow Road. It sounds like drug fueled crazy fast but apparently it's um, like the main street it's got a couple of bars when I've seen that so I might just go up right there. I know my stomach wasn't feeling great but that beer is probably not going to help that but I'm leaving tomorrow so I have to have one beer in a man but yeah there's falafel restaurants up there as well so I'm going to go see that and get some cash out as well but yeah I'm off to um off to uh, Petra tomorrow. 6 day, the buses. Have to be there for 6 apparently. Well, as long as I'm there for 6 then. Oh, that out of breath. But yeah, it's been a good day so far. Looking forward to seeing this street. Getting some food, chilling out. Obviously, that, I need to book my hostel for Petra. Haven't done that yet. The next stop hopefully is Wadi Rum, which is in the middle of the desert. So hopefully it's not as cold as this like one. Probably is. Right, we're gonna get this street and chill out. Guys, that is artisan corn dog if I ever seen it. Right, let's give it a bash corn dog. Look, yeah, it's heavy. Oh, I'm really hot. Oh my god. That's so good. Mmm. Wow. Mm. 